What is up, everybody? It's Derek with Nightwater Project, nightwaterproject.com. Check out our website more for some original music as well as some unique cover songs, including Taylor Swift, Bon Jovi, Ed Sheeran, Imagine Dragons, and many more. It's mainstream music, but better. So, the final Star Wars movie of the Sega is coming out um, tonight and tomorrow, actually. It's called The Rise of Skywalker. And it's directed by J.J. Abrams, and it'll be very interesting to see how this movie is. I did see some uh, people coming on reviews, I guess, Hollywood critics and stuff, and their reviews were very mixed. A lot of people, unfortunately, are saying that the imagination is gone um, and so forth, but I'm, I'm not losing out hope. I'm seeing it in the next couple days, and I hope that it turns out to be good, but I am glad that it's finally coming to an end. I have not liked what Disney has done with the Sega, and I think uh, Lucasfilms has done, before they uh, were bought out by Disney, or became Disney, um, I really liked Lucasfilms' um, portions of it a lot better. Um, the Last Jedi, I think, absolutely ruined it. I thought it had still had potential, but it'll be very interesting to see what J.J. Abrams keeps and what he uh, tends to uh, get rid of from from the previous uh, episode, episode uh, eight. So, like I said, there, I, there's I've read a lot of or a handful of mixed reviews, and all of them actually have been mixed. There's nothing that I've read that specifically says it was amazing and it's very unfortunate. Uh, to conclude uh, Sega in that very specific way. So, regardless, it'll make a ton of money at the box office because the days of people seeing movies because they're good are over, in my opinion, and people see them just like music. Um, people tend to flock towards certain things because of what they are. So, with that being said, uh, hopefully it does well, but uh, it will do well. But, um, I honestly, based on reviews and stuff... Um, I'll probably have mixed feelings after the movie. I see the movie. So, uh, but last but not least, uh, we've recorded a version of uh, Across the Stars, which is from episode two. It's Anakin and Padme's theme. Um, we've released that the other week, and it's online. And it and at the end of uh, our version, there's a little Sweeney Todd twist to it. Um, you'll hear some organ and stuff. I don't want to get uh, ahead of myself or um, give you too much information, but check it out. It's on iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, Spotify, and many more digital applications for downloads and streaming. So check it out. It's called Across the Stars, again, and uh, it's by uh, Nightwater Project. So check it out. Hope you enjoy it. This is Derek, Nightwater Project, signing off.